Hello everybody, that runner Matt here, and welcome to the race day vlog for the Banbury 15. Um, yeah, second race of the Grand Prix season, uh, obviously Goring being the first, and uh, well, yes, thank you all very much for watching that. Um, got over a thousand views again, and that's that's before I've even uh, released the the full race video, so that might uh, that might get even more. God, get the camera in the right position. There we go. Um, and yes, the Goring full race video might get even more than the than the race day vlog. I'm not quite sure what I did to get quite that many views, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, anyway, uh, so yes, round two, um, 15 miles, uh, hilly course. So the plan is to go at around marathon effort slash pace, obviously pace on the flat bits and and or win with the least effort uh, carried out, essentially. Um, done a lot of miles, work's been, work's always, you know, work's busy on a Friday and a Saturday, so I'm just going into Sundays tired. Um, and I managed to tweak my glute um, on Thursday. Or was it Friday? I don't even remember now. Um, I think it was Friday, because I... I, I Basically did the exact same thing that I did last time I did it. I was basically doing deadlifts and I just like zoned out and yeah, it, I just used the wrong muscles and yeah, it, it just said no, n not doing that. Um, so yeah, I've been stretching it and I mean, it's it's serviceable. I can use it. It'll be it, it'll get me through, but. Um, to go for like a PB or a course record, which was uh, the original plan in a video months ago. Um, it's just not going to work. It's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, um, that is that is the plan. Um, 100, 100 GP points would also be fantastic. Um, teams already out the window. We had three, now we've got two. So... Uh, probably congratulations to Headington uh, in advance. Definitely the women, because who else is going to win? And potentially the men as well. We'll see. Um, you know, Barry 15. No, no, it's not a particularly well attended race. But um, we'll see how we get on. Straight into the way there. <laughs> Right, just about, well, I'm halfway done with the warm-up. I was just having a chat with uh, Nathan. He, um, he's he gone off to do a bit more mileage whilst I do some drills, which I will, uh, I'll put over the top here a little bit. If, uh, if, the, if the shots are any good, I just sort of put the camera on the floor and, and we'll see if it works. Um, so yeah, just gonna go through a bit of um, tactics sort of race plan today. Um, as I said in the intro, the the glutes not great just done a few you know leg leg swinging activities um i can still feel it um and from parkrun yesterday the pace was fine i could just tell i was sort of using other muscles more so we'll just have to sort of you know keep an eye on it keep a lid on it as much as i can i mean obviously um i'd said in a previous video that i'd like to break the course record it's just not it's just not gonna happen today having done goring last week and yeah now having tweaked the glute there's just no point in risking it going out at that sort of pace just to break a course record um so yeah the plan today is to go as close to marathon pace as possible and still win so barring any ringers that, that go if go for that sort of um course record pace um, I'm going to go at about 540s, which is for 125 for the course. Um, that would be a bit slower than last year, around 124.07. I was looking at it last year to take the win. Can't remember how far ahead I finished in the end, so 125 probably would have been, you know, it would have been safe in the end. Um, so, yeah. 
if I have to go a touch faster then so be it but plan is to go at a 125 finish pace so 540s um, obviously it's quite a hilly course so got that to keep in mind so there'll be times where it'll be as slow as potentially 610 615 on some of the climbs I just gotta be yeah as I said it's not the running fast that's the problem it's the slowing down and decelerating as it was um, yesterday at Uni Parks doing the three lap course I had to do a lot of left turns and they it, it just sort of again it didn't hurt per se but I just knew it was happening I could I could feel it so I just got to essentially just keep an eye on it when I'm when I'm braking essentially so it'll probably be the downhills that actually are harder for me because I'm I'm not going to be absolutely bolting it down them um, yeah we'll just have to see how it goes and as Nathan comes back we will crack on with the second part of the warm up I also am planning on uh, recording some of the run not all of it uh, basically because the camera can't do much more than 40 minutes which is why it's good for the 10k's um, so I've had a chat with the guy that does the lead car and he's had a chat with the marshals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the first three miles and then drop the hat off with the marshals and then pick it back up for the last three miles and uh, he has told me they've got like a few they might have a couple of drones about so they might be doing some drone shots and he might record a bit from the uh, from the front car if it's safe to do so so hopefully there'll be plenty of footage otherwise because obviously the first and last three miles are it's an out and back the first five and the last five so it might look roughly the same just from uh, going in the opposite direction but we'll see how it looks <laughs> right so we do need to go for a little um sort of preamble here as um as you see me running to the start um thankfully the actual race was recorded or as you'll find out some of the race was recorded in landscape and this bit was recorded in portrait for whatever reason um yeah so essentially i got to three miles and uh james bolton who was actually race adjudicator instead of um instead of actually racing today he he took the hat off me instead and i was like okay this might be something that's been agreed um and then when i got back to 12 it wasn't there so um yeah i got the first three miles um with any luck they might there might be some photos about if there are i'll use them if not uh well sorry i guess um and then yes you will see uh james using technology um i i'm, I'm sure he'll be he'll be fine with me putting it in um yes he tried to record me finishing but uh we'll put in a little montage of him attempting to uh record me finishing so uh yes with that out of the way uh enjoy the the first three miles or at least the, the highlights of the first three miles of the race number of potholes don't stand in a puddle you don't know how deep it's going to be and if you get into trouble, let a marshal know. So six and a half to eight and a half for those potholes. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That'll do.
Simon Smith. From Cambridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Third place from Eddington Roadrunners. Love well on. Right, hope you enjoyed the uh, highlight reel of James there. Uh, again, I'm, uh, I'm sure he's happy with, uh, with me using the footage. He did record it himself. So, uh, yes, uh, right, on to the uh, cool down, as you can see here. Um, I was basically trying to drag Fraser in, um, and I was also chatting to uh, Connor from Harwell, so uh, basically completely forgot to uh, do a, you know, to camera uh, portion of the cool down. Um, so I'm doing it now when I'm at home. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you can see in those... Uh, the, that f the front three of us there, uh, me and a Headington jo uh, gentleman and uh, another guy with the hat on. Uh, the guy with the hat on was the current course record holder. So, yeah, uh, I was saying in the in the warm up about there not being any ringers. Um, there, there, there was one. Um, so yeah, we got to about uh, we got to about ten miles. It was just after the uh, the big climb out of the back at eight or nine and we could we took some water and we were doing this uh the downhill like on the other side and he just started talking to me like he was out for a sunday jog and i was just like i, I could talk back mind you you know i wasn't all in i wasn't struggling but i just had that touch of labor in my breath that he probably cottoned on to and um then we got to about 12 the big climb on the way out and then he just kicked on again and i just thought it's it's not it's not worth chasing him down to try and win i've got other races um and i'm first oxfordshire club runner so that's you know that when you're racing the course record holder you've got to take what you can get um so yeah uh it was it was quite strange really cuz considering how much i was complaining about my left glute in the warm-up, it actually ended up being uh, my right hamstring on the downhills that was hurting the most. So, obviously, it's probably some sort of, um, you know, compensation that my body uh, was doing during the race. But it was just, I was expecting it to, you know, be be my be my quad, it, it being on the downhill. But, um, yeah, it, uh, again, a bit of a strange one, but uh, we'll have to, we'll have to, uh, you know, move past it, uh, get the rehab going, look after it. Um, and I believe I have got a small bit on the head cam for presentations uh, because, uh, well, uh, yes, I need to thank Fraser for taking me there, but he did have to dash off as they left the dog at home. So um, the uh, basically Team Woodstock um, had offered me a lift back. So thank you to them for taking me, for uh, offering, uh, James offered initially and then someone else who uh, is the other side of Whitney, offered to take, uh, you know, it made sense for him to take me instead, instead of just being dropped off at Woodstock and waiting for the bus. Um, so thank you to them as well. And yes, I've got a small bit of footage from the presentations. Uh, so that is all on the head cam, as I didn't have time to uh, ask anyone to record. So on to those. <laughs> Sorry, I should have actually said this is Sandra who's Jeff Smith's uh, wife and indeed Sullivan's mum. <laughs> uh, in uh, second place is Matthew Locke from Whitney Roadrunners, 1 hour 26.26. 26. Thank you. Thank you. Well Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. And the third male, Sam Garforth yeah. from Headington Roadrunners, 127.05. in the 
homestead, um, as per usual, uh, editing a bit of parkrun, so recording this uh, just after I finish doing that, and it's taken a while, and I just want to do this before I have a shower and go to bed, just to get the rest of the thoughts out. Uh, yeah, so time was perfectly fine, obviously slower than last year, but with the legs as they were, and it was windy, as you could... Yeah, I don't think I left too much of the um, of the full footage in. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, what I will do is I will probably put those um, first three miles on as a separate video. Whether I put in the extra bits that the um, uh, that James James Charles this is um, who I talked to about doing the recording. Whether I put the bits that he sent me in as well from like the from the marshals, I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe drop a comment if I if I should just have my own stuff or or add theirs as well. Because um, uh, well, it's it's 18 minutes if I if I just have the own my stuff, it'll only add about a minute or two with with his if if even that. It's just that um, I mean I use those bits anyway in in this video of the um, just after the start. And then um, it was the last like recorded bit before you saw uh, James's James Bolton's montage. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if I should add the Bambi Harriers bits or just have it all on the on the headcam, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, time happy Grand Prix. Um, Oh, oh, I, I'll, I'd love to do a haul, but it's all downstairs, so I'll just do it from, from the memory. Um, got a medal, which actually, actually, what I can do is I can show you this one from last year. There we go, just Miss Memory fifteen, because I'm pretty sure that is the exact same medal. Um, and I mean, bottle of water. <laughs> um, and I think I got 30 quid for second place, which is actually the first prize money I've got all year, despite winning um, two races now. No, two races? No, I finished uh, finished first, fourth, and now second, and it's my first set of cash prize. Um, so yes, all good, all happy. Um, if you did enjoy, please do like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And until the next one, trust the process. Bye.